This right here is a very affordable power bank and it's actually super strong too. 2000 watts of constant power delivery, 4000 watts surge, and it also has surprisingly many great features, especially for the price point. It also looks cool, but is it actually good? Let's find out. Got the new drip from Picron. This is their E2000 LFP 230 volts port able power station and it's expand able too. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. Yeah, now let's check it out. That's the box right here. I have already pre-unboxed it. And this was also boxed up yet again. So box in a box. Great packaging for sure. So on these sides it just says power station, port able power station. And this box is in pristine condition, as I said, thanks to box in a box. Then on top we have this padding and I already took out the power station to make the unboxing easier. And as you can see in here, we have all the accessories. We have a nice bag and these two boxes. So let's start with the accessories. So first of all, let's open up this, this little box right here for the car. There is a very similar box. Let's open it up as well. Okay, for a solar and then, okay, well, it says it on the top AC 4215-5 power brick with a dedicated manual and the cable. Nice looking power supply. And lastly, we have the bag and in here, we have the paperwork and more than enough space to store all the cables. And we also have this. Whoa, this is a, this is so cool. We'll also get a wrap, a case. The right word won't come to me. But here we have the product manual for the brick. Back is just blank. This cable, of course, for the power brick. And look at that. Beautiful. So we have the specs on the f on the top and also this nice carrying handle. This is actually amazing. I've never seen something like it. The sides, bottom is just blank. On this side we can take a, a, a little look inside, see like the coil and the components. And on the other side we have the fan right here and the cable, well the plug to charge up the power bank. Of course the power station. Then we also have this and this right here also for charging it over the car. And then we can also also charge it over solar which is amazing so these cables as well and we will also get a really nice case little baggy even with a strap really cool for all the cables for all the accessories I will put them in there already and then lastly we have the paperwork right here this is actually really cool backside right here a really cool brand concept okay this is actually this is actually German at least on the front but this is of course multi-language so here we have the English segment, also this and also this. Super detailed schematics in here. Love it. And lastly, a warning. And there we have it. Done with the unboxing. Let's get to my first impressions and then to a close overview. And the power station came wrapped too. This is, of course, not as small as the accessories. So let me get rid of the wrap. There we go. Really nice power station nice build quality we have these orange corners right there looking really cool and the covers they're all rubber nice the covers are kept very simple to keep the cost down i i suppose but it's still very well made so neat looking front on the top we have a charging a wireless charging pad will Take a look at that in a second. This on the back, it's just a really nice power station. On this side, we have a dual fan. And lastly, on this side, we have, ah, we have the battery expansion port right there. And we also have the fuses. Okay, you probably have to pull it out, but I can't do it. It doesn't matter. Let's take a close look. So we have the front right here, DC input. And for this one, 12 to 18 volts, 100 watts max. Then we also have these two ports back down here, 32 to 95 volts, 600 watts max. Then right here we have the AC output, total output power, 2000 watts, continuous power, really strong, really strong. Then this is the DC output, these two, 12 volt, 
output and also USB. We have four USB-A ports and two USB-C ports and one of them is 100 watts. Crazy. And the buttons on the front, how can you turn it on? Press and hold, easy as that. DC out, AC out. Press and hold to activate and deactivate it. And this will also just turn it off. So when we press and hold the AC out, the fan will also do a short cycle. We have the charging, charge level, expected time that's left. We will get to know this display better when we actually test it. Then here on the top, we have the wireless charging pad. How to turn it on though? Probably DC, DC out. Is this not for, oh, there we go, charging. I was like, is this not for iPhones? But yeah, DC on, did the trick, DC off. And yeah, it stopped charging once again. Cool. And we can see that it's getting charged with a few watts, not too bad. And right here, important safety notes. Then again, the mentioned corners, pretty cool, pretty cool protection. Nice grips on each side. This is what they look like. Then again, down here we have the battery expansion port, the fans, the grip, well, the handle. That's the other side right here. And we have this on the back. Close look of all the details back here. And lastly, we have the bottom right here. Let's go. Not bad, right? So let's test it. So here we go. Let's activate the AC for this test. For this first test, I will power up the video lights with the power bank, well, with the power station. So this light is drawing 25 watts. Now let's get the big one into the play. And that's more like it, 200 watts right there. Okay, good stuff. Now let me also charge my iPhone on top. For this I need to activate the DC. Ah, there we go. And now, now I also want to show you the reverse charging capabilities. So let's hook up the power supply and let's also charge it. We have the power supply right here. This is what it sounds like. Now we of course have unlimited energy and we are charging it up for the outdoor test. This is what it looks like. So I will see you in a bit outdoors. So here we go. I have charged it up all the way to 80% and I brought the heavy machinery right here. So let's see, 1400 watts. I have the AC on, I can deactivate DC. There we go, and now... No problem whatsoever. So let's do some cleaning. Powered by Picron, let's go. So this thing can deliver quite a lot of power without any problems. Let's keep going. So this area was totally contaminated from cleaning the driveway. There was so much dirt on these tiles and it all ended up here basically. So that's way better. And we're still at 72% of charge. So this thing can deliver a lot of power for a long time. And when my camera is running low, I can just charge it up on the pad. Pretty dope. Ah, there is more. And it's super portable as well. All right, good stuff. And now we're at 67%. This thing has way more endurance than me. That's for sure. And when you're done, you can simply unplug it, put it back in your trunk. You can even operate it from out of the trunk. A really nice power station. And when you're done, don't forget to turn it off. Sweet. Picron definitely came out with a strong competitor in the power station market. This thing is really, really cheap for all the features that it offers and also for all these amazing accessories. It is amazing. We get a 2000 watts pure sine wave inverter with 4000 watts of surge power, really strong, a large 1920 watt hour capacity. So almost too flat, of course, state of the art lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry in here with over 3,500 cycles. And after that, it will still have at least 80% of capacity left. And as I said, it's an expandable power station. You can combine it with two EB3000 batteries with two battery modules and 
you can expand it all the way up to over 8,000 watt hours, to be specific, 8,064 watt hours. And it of course also features a bi-directional charge flow between the main unit and the expansion modules. So you can use the main unit to power all sorts of devices and the modules will keep it charged up. And we also get 1,200 watts of potential combined charging power. Oh my goodness, we also get 1,200 watts of potential solar charging, which is huge. Super fast charging, you can charge it up all the way in around one or two hours, depending on the source, of course. We also have a really strong power brick. 13 versatile outputs, a 15 watts wireless charging pad on top, power delivery USB-C with 100 watts, just great stuff in this little box right here. You can, of course, also charge it with AC, with solar, with, the, with your car, 12 volt system, of course, or also with a generator. And of course, you can also charge it with AC and solar combined. So yeah, all in all, definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. I will listen, link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.